welcome to our second WinFlare video tutorial. In this tutorial I am explaining the Capsman functionality by MyCritic. Well, so what is Capsman? Capsman is basically a controlled access point system manager made by MyCritic which allows you uh, to centralize your wireless network management which um, basically spares you a lot of time when you have a lo uh, many access points to manage. So you have basically one central place where you manage all your uh, microtic access points inside your network and it's really easy to set up. It basically needs only few basic uh, options to be set for it to be running. So when I was researching about Capsman, I found several video and, and written documents uh, but in my opinion they were a little bit too complicated especially for beginners so I wanted to simplify it by showing you a step-by-step -step configuration through the graphical user interface which should be really easy to follow so in this tutorial I have my two micro ticks on the left side will be my controller and on the right side will be my access point um, if the micro tick you are using as a controller has a wireless interface by its own you can control that wireless interface uh, through Capsman as well which is really neat and really nice alright so let's let's begin by connecting to our Capsman manager uh, and see what we have there so the first step is to go to Capsman and enable the manager functionality and I won't play with certificates for this tutorial I really want to keep it simple and the Capsman functionality works without certificates just fine so what I like to do next is to create the channels and in the 2 GHz spectrum we really only have three channels which are not overlapping so let's create the channels Microtik does not have a wizard in place so we have to type the frequencies and the other options manually and I will use the 20 MHz um, to BGN um, and that's about it so let's copy this Now I have my three channels defined. Let's go to the next step, which is data paths. And data path is basically it says where you want your uh, connection to be on which bridge. Uh, and I only have one, and that's our LAN bridge. And uh, you will see later that the access points are dynamically added to that bridge when you have clients connected to it. And here are two interesting options as well. It's called local forwarding and client to client forwarding client-to-client -client forwarding is especially useful when you have a guest network and don't want to don't want your guests to see each other you want to disable this option right uh, and local forwarding is uh, basically uh, the management of the access point is made through the Capsman manager but the traffic is routed uh, uh, locally without using Microtix Capsman tunnel. Alright, uh, so there is my first data path and now let's go to the security configuration uh, where I can specify my passwords and the authentication type for for uh, for our access points to be rolled out. So this is just the basic configuration and now let's go to the configuration screen where I, I can summarize all those settings right um, here I have three channels to choose from now 
my data path, my security configuration, the other options are not needed since they are automatically provided by our configuration files for each section and that's about it for the configuration. Now let's go to provisioning and provisioning is really a uh, cool feature which allows us to automatically roll out the configuration to our access points. Uh, you could create a dynamic provisioning rule for your each of your access points by specifying the access points radio MAC inside uh, this uh, text place uh, or uh, you can just create one rule which suits all which I will do for this demonstration um, so my master configuration is this and I do not have any slaves uh, you could create for example a slave configuration for your guest network and uh, under name format you can choose uh, the formatting of your access points which will be created dynamically so I will just choose create a prefix and specify a prefix for my for my access points so now I have my provisioning rule, I have my configuration done, I have specified my channels, I specify the data path, uh, I have a security configuration, the Capsman manager is turned on. So basically we have created uh, or set every option needed for the manager to work. Now this MicroTik has a wireless interface on its own so let's enable Capsman manager on our wireless interface. Uh, we need to click on the cap tab and enable it and select the interface for VLAN if you have two or more wireless interfaces you can add multiple I have only one on this MicroTik so I will choose the VLAN one and the discover interface will be Ethernet 2 which is the master port for my local network alright and click apply and in a several seconds the cap should be appear here under cap interfaces and there it is now this uh, wireless interface is being controlled automatically by the the capsman manager so the remote cap is uh, here and I can basically do several cool things here I can change the identity of my wireless access point I can upgrade it automatically from here without the need to connect to each uh, access point individually and I can provision it if I don't have a dynamically enabled provisioning rule now let's see what we need to do on an actual access point uh, therefore I will connect on the right side to my hub light uh, which will suit as an access point for this demonstration and the configuration is really simple uh, the, the, the Capsman manager uh, speaks to the access points through layer 2 so I really do not need to have an IP address on the access point or anything else but I will just uh, for the demonstrations uh, get myself an IP address from DHCP on the Ethernet port 3 so my Ethernet cable is connected to the Ethernet port 3 on the on the hub light S and now let's go to wireless to cap and enable the manager select the interface select the discovery interface and I really do not need to specify the capsman address uh, because the 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 access point speaks over layer 2 with the manager so click on apply and in several seconds the second access point should appear here and here it is right. now I have two access points which are controlled by by the Capsman uh, wireless manager and I am basically done I have two access points connected and under the registration table I can see my clients I can see uh, how they behave, what's their signal, um, on which access point they are connected to and 
take action if needed. So I really hope this tutorial wasn't too hard to follow and I hope it explained properly the Capsman functionality, the Capsman basic functionality. We could go uh, a little bit more into detail but for this tutorial I really wanted to keep it simple and clean and get the Capsman up and running with uh, a minimum needed configuration. Alright, if you like this tutorial please cons consider subscribing to our channel, it will really help us out. Thanks and bye bye.